Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do a detailed FAQ on the Samsung Galaxy M51. So Samsung Galaxy M51 is the latest smartphone announced by Samsung under the M series. And this device comes with a quite good hardware. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G, an AMOLED display, quad camera setup. So it's well loaded device uh, in terms of hardware and the device is priced starting 2499. So let's get started with the detailed FAQ, just like what we do for other smartphones. We'll cover all the aspects. It's, it's a 20 point FAQ and uh, we'll uh, try to answer all the questions you guys have on this device. So if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's get started with the FAQs. So first step, let's have a look at the build quality. Now one thing about uh, the MCD smartphone is that they all have polycarbonate material and this also is a polycarbonate material you can see that uh, it's a shiny polycarbonate now uh, one of the major issues with uh, the M series has been uh, the back panel is getting scratched uh, quite easily now here also we have been using this device for like one week and you can also see uh, you can see that uh, there is scratches uh, available all over the back panel so you can see minor scratches we haven't even used uh, in any uh, kind of drastic conditions it's regular wear and tear you can see a lot of scratches forming on the back panel so this is definitely not a great build quality so samsung should be looking at a better build quality you can see the scratch here again uh, it's kind of regular usage so better to use a case uh, once you start using the samsung galaxy m51 otherwise uh, this uh, the back panel gets scratched easily now talking about the display so this is one of the strong points of the samsung galaxy m51 the display is a vibrant crisp and a colorful panel it's a super emulate panel and looks really beautiful it is one of the really good displays in the 25k price segment offers great viewing angles excellent uh, colors and also touch response feels very smooth it is protected by corning gorilla glass 3 support so that's the uh, display support and uh, it is easily one of the best uh, in this price segment now talking about the SIM card, so we have a, a dedicated SD card slot on this device, so you can use this dedicated SD card slot. You can use two SIM card as well as uh, SD card on this device. So now talking about the storage. So this device comes uh, with a uh, 128 gigabyte storage. That's the default uh, storage option. So let's just take uh, the storage here. So device uh, care uh, storage uh, is you can see here a uh, 128 gigabyte is a base variant. This is has six gigabyte RAM and 8 gigabyte ram two variants are available and uh, this has uh, expandable storage as well now talking about the software so this device comes with uh, the one ui 2.1 so you can see if you see the about phone software information a uh, one ui 2.1 android 10 and uh, you can see that all the details are mentioned here this uh, security patch level is from august 2020 so that's the software aspect of this device now if you look at the software it has a plethora of options uh, to choose you can see that a uh, uh, lot of additional customization motions and just did one handed mode game launcher develop uh, messenger then uh, customization via themes so whole lot of features are included it's well uh, feature rich ui i would say and uh, feels quite good now talking about the performance so this device uh, runs on uh, the uh, snapdragon 730g octagon processor we have seen the 730g on the poco x2 as well and few other smartphones so it's a quite good uh, processor it's a capable processor rather uh, but uh, uh, it is not a really high-end processor for 25k price segment but still uh, manages to do the uh, task pretty well uh, it there is no lag as such uh, and it uh, does really well uh, we have also done a detailed gaming video of this device it was quite good in terms of gaming and the massive 7000 mAh capacity battery last like really well so if you, even if you are a gamer or watching movies uh, you can get really great battery life now next uh, is uh, the led notification so uh, we'll connect this device to a charger and we'll uh, see uh, if there is any led notification so we're connecting to the charger and you can see that there is no led notification for uh, charging or anything so that's the device so you can see that there is no led notification available now talking about uh, the fingerprint scanner and face unlock so so the fingerprint scanner is on the side panel so we'll just show you how fast it is so there you go so it may not be the fastest out there but it is highly responsive and uh, uh, works pretty well now let's uh, also have a look at the face unlock so again face unlock isn't uh, very fast but uh, quite good there you go that's the face unlock 
so that's the uh, fingerprint scanner and face unlock now this device supports usb otg out of the box so uh, you can uh, connect your computer peripherals and other pen drives uh, to this device now next let's have a look at the sensors available so we have installed the sensors app and you can see that uh, it has uh, uh, the gravity uh, gyroscope light magnetic accelerometer proximity so all the basic sensors are included on this device so uh, these are the sensors available now let's have a look at uh, the camera to api so we'll just uh, take the camera to api so you can see there is level 3 support this is not an exynos chipset so this has a full support level 3 support and you can install a g cam on this device already the camera is pretty good we'll talk about that uh, a while uh, then uh, we'll just have a look at the widevine l1 support so you can see that uh, security level is widevine l1 so l1 support is there so you can play uh, movies or uh, uh, series on uh, netflix and amazon prime in hd quality that's supported here now next uh, let's talk about the camera so we have a quad camera setup it's a 64 megapixel quad camera it's a sony imx 682 sensor now you also get a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor 5 megapixel depth sensor and 5 megapixel macro sensor and uh, a 32 megapixel uh, selfie camera it's a punch hole camera now camera is quite good on this device we have done a detailed camera review of uh, the samsung galaxy m51 so you can check out that video uh, which is already uploaded on, on our channel so here are some camera samples we are taking with this device now next uh, is the battery and the charging time so this device has a massive uh, 7000 mAh capacity battery and uh, the charging is like 25 volt fast charging we have done a video on the charging test of this device so it takes around 1 hour 50 uh, 7 minutes or so uh, to charge which is quite good uh, less than 2 hours for the 7000 mAh capacity battery with the 25 watt charging now uh, screen on time it's like uh, uh, one of the best we have seen on the any smartphone you can get like uh, more than like 12 to 13 hours uh, easily on this device which is something which is really really good so if you are a person who wants uh, the best battery go get this device it has a massive 7000 mAh capacity battery which is really great now this device has voice or wi-fi functionality you can enable it from the settings if you go to the sim settings you can enable it so we have tried with the geo sim card on this device and the call quality is really good uh, no issues whatsoever and it works pretty well now next uh, let's uh, have a look at uh, the speaker performance so it has a bottom firing speaker so in our testing we found the speaker to be not that high in terms of overall output let's see here So you could see that uh, it's quite loud but uh, not really great especially for gaming and multimedia experience we, f uh, we feel that our speaker output should have been slightly higher that's the only concern here now colors uh, this comes in two colors we have the blue variant there's also black variant and uh, these are the two colors available and pricing starts at 24 triple nine and 26 triple nine for the two variants six gigabyte ram and eight gigabyte ram variant and availability is uh, this is available on samsung's uh, store as well as amazon uh, where it is available we'll share the link in the description of this video you can use uh, the links uh, to buy in case you plan to buy the samsung galaxy m51 so that is the detailed FAQ of the Samsung Galaxy M51. Hope this video was useful. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.